Hello everyone. I want to show you a group of stitches that will create a stitch pattern. This is the stitch pattern that I did for out of my head um, top that I just posted. So this is going to be in multiples of 14. So what you're going to do is make, um, I'm just using some cozy wool because it's good on the camera. And I'm using a 4.5 hook, which, yeah, it's 4.5. So let's do a um, zoom in. Well, there, 4.5. All right. So it's in multiples of 14. So we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. That's how I do my slip knot. We're going to chain 14 twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's one set. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. We are going to add one more for our turning chain. We are going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook in the back loop. So if you turn it over, you see those back loops right there. We're going to go one, two, three, four, turn it over, and go into that back loop and place a double crochet. So that chain three that we did, that we, all those chains that we skipped right there, we went into the fourth that made a double crochet and a double crochet. We are going to skip one back bump, and we're going to go into the next back bump. So we're going to skip this one right here, and we're going to go into this one, and we're going to put two double crochets into that. Now because I'm showing you a flat version and we're not going to connect it, we're only going to put two on the end, and then if we did a second panel, if you're doing a panel, when you did the second, you would have two, and it would bump up like that. So you would have these two connected. And you'll see in the pattern as we go along. So now we're going to do a little um, lace work. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip three bumps. One, two, three. And we're going to put a single crochet in that next bump. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip three bumps. One, two, three. And in the fourth bump, we are going to place two double crochets. There's one. Go right back down in there. Place another double crochet. We're going to skip one bump. We're going to go into the next bump and we're going to place two double crochets. One, and there's two. We're going to skip one bump. We're going to go into the next bump. And we're going to do again another two double crochets in that next space chain. Sorry. Okay. So we have one, two, three. We need to do that one more time. Skip one bump, go into the next bump, and put two double crochets into that bump. So one, 
two, three, four of them. We're going to do our chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip three, one, two, three, and into the next, we're going to place a single crochet. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip three, one, two, three, and we are going to put a double crochet into that next one. We're going to turn around and put another double crochet into that same one. We're going to skip the next bump and in the very last bump we are going to put two double crochets. There you go. So as I was saying, when you are doing panels you want your pattern to look the same on both sides. So if we had another panel, it would look just like this. So when we um, seam up the sides, it will have one, two, three, four. It'll have this stitch design there. So the next two rows is your repeating row. Okay. You will always start with a chain three one, two, three. That will always be a double crochet. And we're always going to work right in between the two double crochets below. It's like a V-stitch without the chain. So we're going to work right down in there. And that makes our two double crochets. We're going to come over here. We're going to split these two up. And we're going to put two double crochets in there. We're going to single crochet in the chain five space. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to single crochet in the next chain five space. So it looks something like that. We're going to split these two down here and we're going to place two double crochets in there. In each of the next three, we will split them too. So there's two double crochets in between the next two double crochets. Two double crochets in the next two double crochets. And two double crochets in the next two double crochets. We're going to single crochet in the chain 5 space. We're going to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to single crochet in the next chain 5 space. And in the last two sets of double crochets, we're going to split them and put two double crochets in those. So we split that set. And we're going to split this set and we're going to put two in the last set. So the repeating rows is going to be this row and this next row. We will always start with a chain three. It will always count as a double crochet. We're going to turn our work. We're going to split these two and put one double crochet in this one because that's our double crochet there. We're going to split these two and we're going to put a double crochet and another double crochet. So your double crochets will always be split with two double crochets. Then we're going to do just like we did this, did this one. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to single crochet in the chain five. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to split these double crochets and we're going to place two doubles in each of the double crochets. So there's one. We're going to split this one, put two double crochets in there. We're going to 
gonna split this one. We're gonna put two double crochets in there. We're gonna split that one and put two double crochets in that one. We're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the five, chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to split the last two and put two double crochets in each of them. And that's it. You're going to repeat those two rows over and over again. So if you're going to make a cardigan out of it, if you're going to make a top out of it, it's really simple. It's a two row repeat stitch tutorial is all it is. And I will put the captions up there so that everybody will understand how this is done. I thank you for watching. Give it a try because we will be having a crochet along on a top that I had done. And we'll see you then. Thanks.